Hey everybody, welcome to the first manga haul of 2024. Let's get it started with some cool pickups. We're gonna start with some Kodansha releases. Here we have Pass the Monster Meat My Lady Volume 1. This was one of my most anticipated releases of last year and I'm so excited to finally have it. I am reading it as of me making this video and I am going to talk about it in a future vlog that should be posted soon relative to this upload. I love how it combines action adventure, romance, comedy, and of course food manga. A really weird combination but somehow it works works for this. Okay, here we have To Your Eternity Volume 19, and I have to confess, I am way behind on To Your Eternity. I love the first two arcs, the second one being the peak for this series, in my opinion, but this new one, this future arc, is fine. I just uh, need to continue reading. I fell off. I think I'm like five or four volumes behind, but really excited to keep up here with the purchases for To Your Eternity. Definitely one of my favorite ongoing manga in my collection. Now this, I am really excited about. Magic Knight Ray Earth, the OG Isekai, if you will, from the 90s. This is my favorite clamp release, and I did not get the box sets when they came out. I think it was 2020 at the start of that year, simply because it was just too pricey, and I don't really have room for box sets, so I was a little bit bummed out about that. Then they announced these editions, which are uh, cheaper and more convenient for your shelf, and I said yes please. It got delayed a few months so I wasn't sure if it was going to come out for 2023 but it did and here we have part one book one with me. Super happy about this. That time I got reincarnated as a slime, volume 23. This series is still going, and I've said it before, I think the last haul when I picked up a slime book, I mentioned how I am behind on this. I think the last one I read was like 15 or something crazy like that. So I have some homework to do with slime. Here is volume 23 of that series. Another volume in the 20s is Rent a Girlfriend Volume 22. This series is still going. I don't know what's happening in here, but I thought I'd show you some of the art in case you're interested. I will be catching up. I think I'm like three volumes behind or two. So yeah, not, not too much of a homework there for uh, Rent a Girlfriend. From Viz Media, we got Call of the Night Volume 14, a Shonen Sunday release, and this, of course, is one of my favorites. I love Call of the Night. No spoilers, please. I know the manga is about to wrap up with Chapter 200, so I actually have kept myself spoiler free. I don't know what's going to happen. I am excited for that when it eventually gets collected in one of these volumes, but for now, I am excited to grab Volume 14, and I will be making a separate video on this series soon, so uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm really excited to talk about why I like Call of the Night so much. In one of my recent reading vlogs, I talked about Blade of the Moon Princess from Tatsuya Endo, and here is Volume 2, this Shonen Jump series, which essentially mixes the tale of Princess Kaguya with, of course, Shonen Jump tropes and Shonen manga overall. Really fun. I love the artwork on this, and I started reading this, so I will be giving you an update on one of my future reading vlogs, how I progressed with this series. Rooster Fighter Volume 5. Volume 4 ended on a really nice cliffhanger, so I'm really excited to check this out. I'm probably spoiling myself looking at these pages right here, but you know what? I have to highlight the awesomeness as well as the absurdity of this series. It's so fun and silly at the same time. Seriously, where else can you get a manga about a sentient rooster that has a badass fighting skill set and a really humorous, quote unquote, badass personality? You can only get it here with Rooster Fighter. Insomniac's After School Volume 4. I really enjoy this series. This is a nice coming of age drama slice of life story. I love the art on this volume and this particular story arc here with the characters trying to set up a, a stargazing event was really eventful. I really enjoyed it when I watched it animated so now I'm excited to read it in the manga for the first time. Definitely recommend Insomniac's After School. I have talked about it in the past but this is a fun slice of life story. I do recommend it. 
Zom 100, not just volume 7, but volume 8, volume 9, and volume 11. After watching all of the anime and reading volume 1, I am enamored with this fun little zombie comedy series, so I went ahead and picked up the story where the anime ended, which corresponds here with volume 7. I will eventually go back and collect the rest, but yeah, I am missing volume 10, which was out of stock when I ordered, and I do have a package coming with volume 12, so you could say I'm almost caught up with ZOM 100. From the folks at Seven Seas Entertainment, we got Breakfast with My Two-Tailed Cat, Volume 1. I am so excited about this series, you have no idea. This is a yokai manga, but also mixes slice of life elements with food elements. Really happy about this. Essentially, this cat evolves into a nekomata so that he can be with his human father, who unfortunately his spouse passed away. And now these two are bonding and spending time eating good food and just enjoying each other's company and yeah cat just happens to talk and he's pretty big so it's pretty nice and wholesome just the way i like it die dark volume 6 from q hayashida continuing this series and it's been so long since i've read the previous volume that i kind of have to go back and reread the series because a lot of elements totally got lost on me but this is as chaotic gory and awesome as ever love the art on this series Another one of my isekai favorites, it is Yakuza Reincarnation Volume 8. I talked about this in a previous reading vlog. Such a cool series with fantastic world building, looking really awesome as always. Love this series. Tomo-chan is a girl, Omnibus Volume 1. Really happy to have this in my collection. I enjoyed the anime, it was a lot of fun, and I wanted to pick up the original source material when they announced these Omnibus editions. This is the first one of three. The series is a total of eight volumes. It has already been collected previously by Seven Seas. Instead, now they just bundled everything into these kind of digest-sized, thick paperback Omnis. I was not expecting it to be so thin. I thought it was gonna be a chunky book, but looks cool nonetheless i love the spine and i love the series it's a lot of fun this four coma comedy about the adventures of tomochan a lot of people call this one of the peak releases of 2023 and here we have don't call it mystery omnibus volume 3 collecting volumes 5 and 6. this is christmas themed which you know i got it a little bit late so i couldn't read it in time for the holidays but still a lot of fun fantastic mystery drama series i really enjoyed volume 1 the first omnibus if you want to check out that video uh, sort of my first impressions on it but this is a solid mystery series that i highly recommend Marmalade Boy Collector's Edition Volume 4. We're one book away from finishing this shoujo classic, if you will. And this will actually be my first read through of Marmalade Boy. I remember watching some of the anime at some point in the past, but I've never read the original material. Really happy about this, looking fantastic. And of course, with the great edition here from Seven Seas. Next up from Titan Manga, we got Witch of Thistle Castle Volume 2. I recently talked about Volume 1, a great, phenomenal, dark fantasy magical series. Highly recommended, and Volume 2 looks just as great. I can't wait to dive in and continue this uh, really cool story. And one of my most anticipated releases of 2023 is finally in my hands, The Great Yokai War Volume 1. I am so happy about this series. This is the manga adaptation of The Great Yokai War Guardians, a 2021 fantasy adventure film directed by Takashi Miike. That is a sequel to the original Great Yokai War film, which was released back in 2005. Now, what's fun about this is this is is considered a loose remake for this little franchise here of the original yokai monsters spook warfare movie which came out back in the late 60s and that is also influenced by one of my all-time favorite mangaka shigeru mizuki with his magnum opus gegege no kitaro so you can probably tell that i'm really excited about this you have this kid here who is the descendant of a long line of warriors and after an earthquake releases kaiju sized yokai Yokai monsters, it's up to our protagonist to pick up the sword and become the great hero defending Japan and the world from these monsters. So this is a lot of fun with really wickedly good art. I love the panels here. Take a look at this. This is the first of three volumes, so it's not a huge commitment on your shelf, but I highly recommend picking this up. 
Last but not least from the Strito manga, my old boy journey comes to an end. Here is volume three. Finally in my hands, I have all of old boy. This is the Spanish edition. I assume this is a new translation. And unfortunately I picked this up from the Bezos website and the spine is all jacked up. As you can see, the uh, binding came undone or the glue for the spine and all that stuff. So a bit of a bummer. So I'll have to find the appropriate glue glued and see if I can fix that. But aside from that, really awesome to have this legendary series on my shelf. And these premium large trim sized hardcovers, really cool. I mean, take a look at all three together here. I love that each spine is a different color and just a really nice format for a series that is so renowned worldwide. Happy about this. And now I can actually read Old Boy for the first time. So yeah, for the longest time, I've enjoyed the movie adaptation but I've never sat down to read the original story until now. One anime purchase for the month of January, and that happened to be a Christmas gift. It is the Yu Yu Hakusho 30th anniversary box set. This came out, I think it was what, early January of 2023. It sold out. Everybody was ticked off because they couldn't get it, myself included. Also, it was kind of pricey, so I held off on it. Plus, I have the series on DVD, so no biggie. But it came back in stock for $60, which I thought was a pretty good deal for one of the emblematic uh, shonen jump series but this is my battle shonen manga if you will so happy to have this on the collection as well so there you go, the first haul of 2024. Pretty cool, if I do say so myself, a little bit of everything, but the fun doesn't end here. I have more videos coming up and I do thank all of you for tuning in, for liking, commenting, subscribing. So many people have subscribed recently, it's insane. I don't know what to think. I'm just uh, overcome with happiness when I look at those numbers, I'm like, holy crap, you guys are subscribing. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it immensely. So look forward to more videos soon. I got some reading vlogs and, and reviews coming up. Uh, thank you all once again. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.